Hey guys, it's Roy here. Uh, I'm on my third. Yes, I'm on that third day um, a video blog challenge with the Mastermind Fever. Okay, and uh, I'm catching up now. Uh, today my topic is on the. Uh, it's uh, called uh, how to market your small business website on a shoestring budget. Um, that is, if you don't have enough money, you know, if things are really, really tight, okay? Uh, there are many methods you can try that are free or low cost. Um, I mean, you pay with your time and don't keep bashing the budget, okay? So, okay, so one of them is um, uh, having a website that is useful to your target market. Uh, making sure that your your website uh, really target the the audiences you are looking for, and making sure that it does its job. Okay. Uh, the second point is creating a Google Plus uh, profile and connecting with 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 your website to get your profile photo into the uh, search result. Okay, and. Uh, uh, the third point is encourage people to sign up for updates, whether it's on your uh, blog or on your capture page, uh, whatever strategy you've chosen to market. Always encourage people uh, to sign up for updates so that you can as well capture their email addresses and phone numbers and um, uh, follow up with them. Uh, uh, in the near future. Uh, the other one is uh, creating a landing page with, with an offer and an email sign up to encourage people to subscribe to your updates as well. Uh, as well, if you're having uh, uh, a blog, you can do that as well uh, uh, offline. Okay? Um, I think the last one is add your website uh, or a landing page link to your business cards. If you go to uh, networking events and you do exchange cards, make sure uh, that uh, you've got the links on the cards. Okay? Uh, as well as um, if, you, if you are like myself, whereby you have to sell something and make a receipt, always make sure that uh, uh, you have your links on, on the invoices, you know, so that when people can, people who purchased anything from you can always uh, 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 refer back to you and, and buy anything uh, in the in in future, okay? As well as adding your links to your email signature is advisable. Uh, people can always track you as well. Uh, if they're looking for products or services uh, as well. And if you, if you have a van or something like that, uh, you, you deliver some stuff, Making, make sure that uh, uh, all your links, uh, telephone numbers, even your uh, email address no, um, or whatever uh, links you are using to advertise yourself, they are on the van as well. It, it's, it's really helpful. Um, uh, I think that's, it, that's all about that really, uh, a, uh, using that can, can really be helpful. Uh, the other thing as well, you can print your offer and link on every page of your brochure, flyers or leaflets, uh, the same as your, uh, your cards. So all those strategies are reasonably uh, and fairly uh, cheap. You don't have to spend your ma your, uh, a lot of money, yeah, especially if you are on a startup. So guys, with that being said, um, I hope you find this helpful. Uh, and for more information, you can click on the link below the video and uh, you'll find all my uh, connections there. I've got uh, Facebook, I've got uh, LinkedIn, I've got Twitter, and uh, uh, 
I've got uh, which one is it now? There's there's loads there's there's loads at the bottom there. Just uh, hook up with me and they say uh, my phone numbers are there as well. You can call me anytime if you think I can be helpful in any way, especially when it comes to choosing the right marketing strategy for your business. Okay? So I hope you find this helpful and uh, I'll be seeing you again on the next video. Thanks a lot.